has realized uh, that if you are talking about trade, if you are talking about construction, if you are talking about labor movement, then these populations must be healthy. That is why uh, programs that look at health across the region are very, very critical to support the development agenda of the East African community. So we looked at the public health laboratories as an area that had been neglected, yet it was so important in disease surveillance, which is basically monitoring the diseases within the region to know their uh, epidemic potential and their control efforts. We g gave this uh, project the title East African Public Health Laboratory Networking project. And with these laboratories, the networking is enabling East Africa to know what is happening across the borders. And therefore, in terms of responding to epidemics, it is going to be much, much easier. The project has brought a gene expert machine, which has enabled us to diagnose multi-drug resistance TB, tuberculosis, within a very short time. Initially, we had to take the samples to Nairobi, and uh, it used to take us about six to eight weeks to get the results. Most of the time, we were not able to trace the patients because they'd uh, migrate or move to a different location. Uh, but right, currently, with the Gene Expert machine, we can get a, a diagnosis on the multi-drug resistant TB within about two hours. Uh, diagnostic is the key issue in uh, attending to any patient. So with the laboratory coming in, with the network coming in of the laboratories, it will be of great help to this community. The other area is we have tried to uh, train a number of uh, laboratory personnel in various fields, and this has tried to actually create an impact in terms of having them uh, out there and having the knowledge that is required as we introduce these new diagnostics. With support from this project, we are able to do very many community outreaches, integrated outreaches, where we are able to offer all the services that a patient is expected to get from a dispensary. Problems we have in our community is around TB, tuberculosis. And um, it's because uh, tuberculosis um, is something which uh, not everybody actually knows the details about it. But um, now, if they come here, it's good they have a, a centre where they do the testing, they get the medicine at the same time, they see the doctor at the same place. At least, in the middle of the house, we will be able to get the money and the money. So, we will be able to get Laboratories actually form the backbone of uh, everything we do on, on, on the health side. In the sense, uh, we do rely on laboratories to give us the diagnosis. And it's one of those fields which have always been neglected. It's uh, like a support structure, but never been funded and it's never been integrated. If you have an infectious disease, right, it doesn't affect just one country. It affects all the countries around. We wanted a network of very efficient laboratories uh, that would have the right equipment and that would be connected with the, using the technology, ICT technology, that would be providing information across the region so that at any one time we know what is happening in each of the partner states in the East African community. So it's now truly a complete East African community project.